there are some parents who do take time and control the screen time and control what the kids watch. Amazing, alhamdulillah. But again, majority, in my in my opinion, when I talk to them, they're guilty of, I need my own time. I've just got back from work, right? How do I get my kids to be quiet? Mm. And I just pass them the screen. And um, they know it. It's sad that they know it and they know what their kids are watching. Just imagine this, right? And I like to give this analogy where if your kid, would you put your kid in a physical in, in a physical place, right? Where there is LGBT, for example, or there's in a pub or where there's a casino. Definitely you wouldn't, mm. right? But on the digital space, when they watch the ads or content which is served to them mm. through the algorithm or even in games, even the ads on the games are even worse, mm. right? They're okay. Not, not to say that they are okay, but they feel that it's less harmful. Mm. But it's not, right? Um, it, it, it's, it's really sad to see that, but we can see that a lot of Muslim parents nowadays uh, from the Western world is trying to move outside of, of, of those countries because of um, LGBT bo- being put into the education. Mm-hmm. And they can spend... Um, it's it's life-changing going to another country but when we say that hey get your kids on a safe platform right um for maybe around what ten dollars a month Mm. it's a big decision Mm. so again i think it's a mentality where people think that oh digital is fine it's it's just a screen Mm. it won't harm our kids but in reality it does